That first one goes to Secretary Thank Clinton you. because you started out the last one to the audience. He wants to start. He can start. Go ahead, no, go ahead, Donald. No, I'm a gentleman, Hillary. Go ahead. Secretary Clinton. So I want very much to save what works and is good about the Affordable Care Act. But we've got to get costs down. We've got to provide some additional help to small businesses so that they can afford uh, to provide health insurance. But if we repeal it, as Donald has proposed, and start over again, all of those benefits I just mentioned are lost to everybody, not just people who get their health insurance on the exchange. And then we would have to start all over again. Right now, we are at 90% health insurance coverage. That's the highest we've ever been in our country. Their method of fixing it is to go back and ask Congress for more money, more and more money. And we have right now almost $20 trillion in debt. Obamacare will never work. It's very bad, very bad health insurance, far too expensive. And not only expensive for the person that has it, unbelievably expensive for our country. It's going to be one of the biggest line items very shortly. We have to repeal it and replace it with something absolutely much less expensive and something that works, where your plan can actually be tailored. Your husband called Obamacare, quote, the craziest thing in the world, saying that small business owners are getting killed as premiums double, coverage is cut in half. Was he mistaken or was his mistake simply telling the truth? No, I mean, he clarified what he meant, and, and it's very clear. Look, we are in a situation in our country where if we were to start all over again, we might come up with a different system. But we have an employer-based system. That's where the vast majority of people get their health care. And the Affordable Care Act was meant to try to fill the gap between people who were too poor and couldn't put together any resources to afford health care, namely people on Medicaid. Obviously, Medicare, which is a single-payer system, which takes care of our elderly and does a great job doing it, by the way. And then all the people who were employed but people who were working but didn't have the money to afford insurance and didn't have anybody, an employer or anybody else, to help them. That was the, the slot that the Obamacare uh, approach was to take. And like I say, 20 million people now have health insurance. So if we just rip it up and throw it away, what Donald's not telling you is, we just turn it back to the insurance companies the way it used to be. And that Clinton. means the insurance companies get to do pretty much whatever they want. You've said you want to end Obamacare. Way, you've said you want to end Obamacare. You've also said you want to make coverage accessible for people with pre-existing conditions. How do you force insurance companies to do that if you're no longer mandating that every American get insurance? We're going to be able to. You're going to have plans. What, what does that mean? That, well, I'll tell you what it means. You're going to have plans that are so good because we're going to have so much competition in the insurance industry once we break out, once we break out the lines and allow the competition to come. President are you, you going to have a mandate that Americans Anderson, have to have health insurance? Me.